That is your news and traffic. I'm Rick Zurich, 93. Okay, it is 829. Some breaking news that we do want to let you know about. Uh, this just now happened, and they're still getting details for us. Apparently, the World Trade Center uh, plane crashed. They think it may be multiple planes, right? It says multiple planes right now. Uh, they think it may have been a 727. Details are still being unveiled. Again, a plane crash into the World Trade Center. Uh, breaking news, there's a lot of smoke, a lot of action going on there. And so keep it here. We'll let you know exactly what's going on coming up in just minutes. It's 810. It's 816. Melissa Foreman, uh, Bill Leff is on vacation. And Rick Zurich is standing by in the newsroom. Just so you know, uh, this is this is what has just happened. A little before 9 o'clock and then a little before, a, uh, a little before and a little after 9 o'clock, New York time. Two separate planes apparently deliberately crashed into the World Trade Center. Uh, the upper power part of Tower 1, right now there's flames, there's massive smoke. They have no idea why two planes would have crashed into the World Trade Center. They're, uh, I guess, telling people in New York in that area not to use the water to conserve it, trying to figure out what's going on. Both towers have smoke, so it is possible that Tower 2 has also been affected. Right now they're just trying to figure out what exactly is going on. Did the World Trade Center uh, okay, I guess Rick's on the phone, too, trying to figure some stuff out. World Trade Center, multiple plane crash, and they think deliberately. And we're watching, I mean, there's just massive smoke everywhere. Yes. It's unbelievable. Again, uh, in that area, telling people not to use water. They do think the planes were substantial in size. One of them possibly a 727. It does look deliberate. It is on the upper part of Tower 1, where most of the smoke is. Of course, there are people at work there. And we will let you know exactly what's going on uh, as soon as we know more. It's now 8.18. We'll have the rest of the news and a full update for you coming up in minutes. Nine it is 8.30. Again, just to up, uh, get you up to date on what's going on, Rick Zurich is standing by, too, in the newsroom. He may have more details for us. Well, as things continue to take shape here again and again, if uh, I'm going to cover some of the ground that you've already covered, Melissa, I apologize, but uh, ears in several directions. FBI officially declaring this an act of terrorism. Uh, just to update you, if you're just coming into the loop and uh, becoming attentive to this issue, the site, the World Trade Center in New York City, just before 9 a.m. New York time, and again just after 9 a.m. New York time, one or two airplanes speculated to be either 727s or 737s, one into each of the two World Trade Center towers plowing into those buildings. Uh, there is speculation from unnamed senior officials at the White House that perhaps these planes were hijacked, perhaps they were on suicide missions. As you heard, the president says this is considered to be a terrorist action. And as he said, and I quote, terrorism against our nation will not stand. Obviously, we'll continue to cover this story during the course of the day. We'll take a check on your drive to work this morning because I know a lot of folks are listening and driving through traffic. Some real problems in the metro Chicago area, and our suggestion is that you stay tuned to us. We'll have late details for you, and that you also have a little extra patience this morning because we have, in some cases, some drive times of better than an hour. What we'll do is continue to follow this story. And we'll come back and check traffic for you in a couple of minutes. What's going on? The bottom line is this. We have the potential for multiple hijackings, probably all from the Northeast. That would be what one would assume. Each oh of those planes God. could contain hundreds of people. Each of those planes, potentially three at this point, having been flown into either the World Trade Center or the Pentagon. Then imagine this was no accident. It was around nine o'clock on a weekday morning that these attacks all took place it's incredible now how will this affect us here in chicago know that for the next seven hours flights canceled everything everywhere all over the united states canceled for the next seven hours a reminder that if you are near o'hare international airport there are more police officers out there than usual more bomb detecting canines, canine units on the scene as usual. And also, we've heard some speculation that high-rise buildings here in Chicago, one this of the major tower, cities. I believe is they're, they're giving them the option, but probably now they will evacuate. It I'm is sure. conceivable that a lot of large buildings in a lot of large cities across the United States are at least giving an option of evacuation this morning. So be safe rather than sorry. This is going to be uh, one of those days that... 
impacts us all as uh, so many areas of communication go through the Northeast Corridor now that New York and D.C. have both been affected. And is it over with? No. I don't know yet. I, I can't see what's going on right now because I've just turned the monitor around. Yeah. But what is uh, what is going on with the, the South Tower fall, falling and all those people that were in there that were trying to get out? Is the whole thing down? Can you see? To, can you see? Nobody down? knows. All right. Well, I, I, that was the word that we had heard. We'll get more information for you coming up. All right. So bottom line is we have ABC. We're working with them. We have the wire services, many of which, by the way, are down. We are doing our best to gather information for you during the course of the day. Uh, keep your ears to the radio. We'll have what you need to know all day long here.